Hey folks, Justin Thayer, TeamThayer.com, here today with the great, the famous, Brandon Thayer and Max Thayer, the Mighty Dog. Today we are in the Team Thayer garage or our workout area. And I really wanted to uh, talk about the correlation between physical fitness and overall success in their lives. Um, it is scientifically proven, right? There are so many you know, studies on this, books, um, videos, and, and documentaries and on the subject of the correlation between success and people who pursue fitness. And not just pursue fitness to exercise, to lose weight or keep a certain figure, but people who pursue fitness just for fun because they have a hobby or a sport they just really love to do. Um, for us, we're a wrestling family. We also like to snow ski, uh, swimming. I can really attribute and you know a lot of the successes that I have had I can really attribute them to always being physically fit I've always been into um, sports that are a little more hard I get hard edged uh, you know I've been a martial artist uh, practically my whole life um, I've been uh, raced motocross snow skied um, which I still do uh, race BMX, which I did pretty well at, uh, not too long ago, right? Um, hard, hard sport. Uh, um, gosh, you know, I really maintain a level of fitness and not be, it's not because I'm like, oh, I have to uh, exercise or I'm on a diet or, or anything like that. Uh, basically, as just a hobbyist, I enjoy doing it. I have fun with it. Um, over the years, I've trained myself to think things that are hard are, are fun. I, I love I love being challenged. I, I love, you know, right now with, with wrestling and being a volunteer coach. You know, we wrestle right out here in the garage. I was just out here with my oldest boy and, and Brandon, and, and, you know, we go, we go pretty hard, you know. And a lot of people will say, hey, you know, goodness, be careful, Justin, you're, you're an old man. And I, it's almost the opposite, you know, that keeping my body in shape and, and staying physically fit has just been such an advantage. I don't have to be as careful as other people because I am more fit. My body is, you know, I don't let it rust, rot, and depreciate, if you will. What do you have to say, Brandon? What do you think? Well, it, your theory is right. I was just going to ask one thing. What are you going to ask? Is it, is this relate to how stuff are easing out? I mean... Hard now, they'll be easy later. Uh, does it relate to if things are hard now? Absolutely, they'll be easy later. So, if you are every day and you're doing lots of push ups and your sit ups and you're just tired and you're pushing your way through these things, right? Um, and let's say you're in the sales business, it becomes pretty easy to pick up that phone and dial a number, right? It, yeah, so you're doing things hard, right? And in contrast, it makes other things seem easy. So yeah, I guess it's a good way to contrast it. I mean, in life, it's always about contrasting. You know, um, what's hard to some people are, are, is something that's easy to another person, right? And then sometimes it's just how you put things in perspective. Um, I've had people complain, oh my goodness, Justin, um, this is hard, I can't believe this happened to me, and you know what, uh, uh, the economy turned, or real estate it had a bad turn a while back, right, and I would say, hey, well, in comparison to, you know, what's happening in uh, West Africa, in, in Kenya, and or in, in places like that, um, you know, uh, our economy is pretty nice, so it's, you know, Part of that with exercise, I believe, is that same kind of contrasting. You know what? Um, I don't work out in the mornings. I'm not a morning workout guy. I do it in the evenings. Um, and, uh, yeah, it becomes pretty... When I'm used to going in and 
and working out really hard. I'd say I'm wrestling uh, with you know high school varsity level guys for an hour, and then after that, going to the gym and lifting weights for an hour. Um, right <laughs> the next day morning, when my try to just get up and get going and motivated, and, and what I have to do is pick up the phone, make some phone calls, and right that becomes pretty easy. The contrast is. So I think that's part of it. Anyway, that's all we got for today. Um, hey, subscribe. There's a button up there. Yeah, there's a little red button. Yeah, subscribe up there. For me and Brandon at TeamThere.com, please comment on the lines below. If you like what I'm saying, if you think I'm a nut job and you don't want me to make any more videos, if you right, comment on the lines below. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down as long as you do something. See you next time. Now me and Brandon are going to do some wrestling. Let's go. They'll, they'll make him like one questions. It's just, it's just like one word answers. But you gotta have three word answers. I like for one word or two words. And then these two. Now, five o'clock news with twisted gender. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ron Burgundy. <laughs> uh, oh! Ready? Yeah. All right. Powder. Powder. Okay. Three, two, one. Ready? Yeah. Uh.